Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, and today it is time for another FTL challenge run. Today I'm going to be following the challenge that has been issued previously, and I've tried previously, by uh, Discord Draconesque. I forget exactly how to pronounce his name, I apologize, but it is the low score challenge. The goal is very simple, you play it like golf, lower score is better. He's given me permission to play this on easy, and easy is a little bit unusual for me to play because you're rolling and scrap on easy, you get tons of weapons and resources on easy, but you also get a 25% lower score, which is the reason that it's there. This is all about display score, and I'll tell you the flagship fight is still about the same kind of beast in normal versus easy. The difference is essentially how you get there. So what are we going to be doing today? We're going to be going for the lowest score possible. We're going to use the vortex and we're going to call this uh, less than zero. And we're going to be doing an NGB challenge run where we're going to get the lowest score possible. Are you ready? Let's go. How are we going to do this? This is going to be a very simple run here. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of all of our oxygen in this ship. Turn everything off. We're going to go see how low of a score we can get. As poor Chris, I'm sorry, you are going to die. This is just too bad. I start with 30 scrap, though, so that's going to be counted towards my score. I have not made a jump yet. Chris is going. Oxygen's going, going, going. Gone. Score of 10. I win. Lowest score possible. Uh, one quick caveat is that you actually have to win. So that's how you get a score of 10 in this game, is you just die on the very first jump. So what are we going to be doing today? We're going to be going for the lowest score with a potential to win, and I am actually going to be doing something that is a little unusual for me today. I have not played with the Federation Cruiser in a long, long time. It does not have cloaking, which can be kind of tough in this challenge because you don't want to kill things. And maybe the Federation ship is going to be a terrible choice here. I don't know, but I haven't used it in so long, especially the Osprey, which starts out with a pretty nice loadout here. It's just that I've always had such terrible luck with the Osprey. So this is going to be interesting. It's going to be a low score challenge, and it's going to be without cloaking. So my goal here is to try and get as tiny of a score as possible not have to deal with shit and just go forward and see what we can do. This means try and avoid fights as much as I can. This means try and just get out of dodge. So we're just going to say, call this one light golf, and we'll see how this goes. I think this is a terrible choice for this challenge, but that's part of the fun of challenge runs. I actually need to enter the game, or enter that to get this. So we're doing this on easy, and I've never actually beaten this on, or I've never won with the rock ship or not the rock ship i've run with the rock ship but never on easy either i guess that's true but we're just gonna be going like this now the federation ship for those of you who are unfamiliar with it starts with an artillery beam this replaces the uh this replaces cloaking so you can't get it it is shield piercing which is really nice that doesn't pierce the zolt the zolt and shield in the flagship fight but it will make later game fights better if i can upgrade it but like i said my goal is to get as low of a score as possible i'd love to get a score under 1000 will i be able to do it i somehow doubt it we're going to be just rolling like this anyway we're going to try and avoid jumps and see this isn't good i want to avoid nebulas because every time you survive a jump that's a score so we're going to be getting out of here the goal is to win with a low score so let's avoid provoking the ship and I guess going to the nebula is not going to make too much of a deal. We're going to be rushing through sectors here just a little bit as well. This isn't like a 30 minute run, but let's see here. Keep your position. They can handle it themselves. You're damn right. Now I guess the other thing you want to do is, okay, I'm just ignoring all these places. Um, let's go to the distress beacon though, because it's not like I can go with completely nothing. I need to actually get some stuff here, so I'm forced to fight. That is an anti-ship drone. So we're going to shoot their weapons down first, hopefully. Uh, the, art the artillery beam is nice, but the real heavy hitter, heavy lifter on this setup is the burst laser too. So that took out one thing that need to be taken out. I guess their drone control can't really hurt me, so my poor Mantis will be gaining some shield levels. So piling these down, that means they can't dodge. But I do want- oh boy, you actually did some hull damage to me. It is on now. I guess they have a repair drone. Now, I remember when I first started playing this game, I would just target the shield room all the time. Good, now I can't fire. That's that's very nice of you. Yeah, they have to have a repair drone. There's no way they're repairing that quickly otherwise, because the Rebellion is racist. 
and they don't oh what did I just okay I just had reactivate it let's take out the drone here oh artillery beam nice to see you so that one's dead did I get any weapons no just 24 scrap not fantastic let's go to the uh, let's see here I'm just gonna go up here and go towards the exit I'm not too great a low score run oh you know what I'm not actually you know what I, I actually do not want to lose my crew here normally I'd be like okay whatever if this is a number one run I'd actually have to get rid of it but as is I'm gonna I only have one level of shield so I need to take down their weapons those are heavy lasers and that is a fire in my oxygen room could it possibly get worse this is FTL so the answer to that obviously is yes I'm gonna see if I can take out their oxygen as well because they do have some uh, nasty firing capabilities. Now they can't breathe. I guess that wasn't the most useful thing I've ever done, but now their weapons are off cycle, so... They can't really hurt me. Okay, so... Take one of their slaves as tribute, I get a crew member. My oxygen is disappearing. What else is new? We're gonna go ahead and move you... We're gonna move you over here, and we're just gonna put you back on engines. And Junpeng, you're going to go on shields, because eventually this guy is going to be our boarding connoisseur. So let's go to the exit. Low score possible. This isn't the lowest score I could have gotten on Sector 1, but let's see your short range uh, materials. I'm really hoping to like pop some weapons, though. That's kind of the balance here. If you do it early enough, the scrap reward isn't going to be too big. So nothing of interest. You do get, I forget what the score formula is offhand. All right, so this is a lot of red. This is what I would have actually liked to have had on my boarding challenge. Although that one didn't go so well. Uh, Let's go to the NG sector. Because I still haven't gotten the achievement for uh, crew, crew thingies. That makes any sense at all. Crew thingies, it's a thingy with a crew. <laughs> Okay, so Distress Beacon. We are going to be hitting these Distress Beacons as we can because this is a great way to get weapons without having to do too much. So, giving off a Distress Call. Oh, Collider with Ice Crystal. You'll have to pull out. So that is the uh, Crystal Ship thing that comes up from time to time. We're going to go to the store in just a moment. See, the thing is, is that going for a low score and winning is different. So, five drone parts is definitely not what I wanted. But there's the quest marker right there. Let's see what the store has. Does the store have anything useful? No. Repair arm is not actually... Mmm, you know... If we're going for a low score... Decreasing the amount of scrap I get is actually going to be really useful. And it's going to help me stay alive. So we're actually going to get the repair arm. It is something I almost never buy. But it is the inverse of a scrap recovery arm. Maybe I should have bought some fuel there, but what do I really have to sell other than my artillery beam, which is actually hooked up to the ship? Um, yeah, I will take that scrap over the drone parts. You all are morons. All right, so anytime I collect scrap, I get a repair. I just lose 15% of it. And we're going to... Uh, let's aid the civilian ship here. Like I said, I don't want to get too many ship kills here, but I really do want to get some more weapons other than the burst laser too, because I actually do need to survive and win. I, I do need to be able to survive and actually win things. Now, what I tend to do with the Federation ship, and what got me my only victory on the ship, was playing it like a turtle ship. Which is one reason I was kind of thinking about it for this challenge, although it's probably not the optimal min-max choice. Because of the artillery beam, you can kind of sit back and just let it take for freaking ever to charge while you keep up your defenses. So I'm going to be wanting to get shield 2 and 3 especially early. Though of course with the amount of scrap I won't be getting in this. Uh, it doesn't necessarily matter. But you can just sit back and try and survive the uh, flagship fight and just have your uh, artillery beam pop off like that. For at least the first two phases and then you'll need one weapon so I get a little bit of scrap and they bailed. So screw you guys. Probably should have my person back on the weapons though, so. I'm gonna do another distress beacon. We're almost to the exit. Flying through these sectors here, so, ah, it's a trap. All right, so let's take out their bombs. At least we're at one shield unit still. That's going to change. 
It's going to be really unlucky if I don't get other weapons, but I guess that means we'll just be sitting and watching the artillery beam slowly charge. So there we go. That bomb. Did that bomb go off? I guess it didn't. Hmm. I'll take it. Now that laser is pretty terrifying. So there's both weapons down. Gonna be their shields next. As long as I don't get laser fired with the dual laser here. So one, two. Shields down. And I could be using control and just auto firing because it is just one weapon. You can see it. this dual laser requires... Oh wait, this is a two shot laser. I guess it's not a burst laser one. Because a dual laser requires one power and they wouldn't be deactivating that. But there's the artillery beam cleaning up at the very end. I'm just about to shields. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to give them 40 scrap, two missiles, and two fuel. And I get an NG bot dispersal. That's not really what I wanted. But I was hoping for a weapon there. But you know what? I can actually sell that. Or I can... If I keep my med bay up, that means I don't necessarily have to have everybody going all at once. So let's go ahead and do that. We get some brief repairs there. It's not an awful item. It's just... Sometimes it's just easier to run your people to the med bay. So it's not that great. So six fuel. Great timing on that. Next sector. Mantis homeworld or pirate controlled sector? We're going to go to the pirate controlled sector because I don't have a... Uh, transport unit by now so going for low score possible here maybe I should just run straight to the exit I do need to get some scrap though for my uh, shields so let's explore the asteroid field of pirate ship damn it really want some weaponry here all right because the, the biggest part of the challenge is that you want you want to actually win so let's take out the weaponry first. I really don't want to get missiled in the shield room. I got missiled in the fucking shield room. Typical, typical FTL. Because that means asteroids are going to be coming all at me now. I usually try and have uh, my shields up by now. But for some reason, I got pretty lucky with those asteroids. That could have been way worse. And I really need to upgrade my doors. Alright, so asteroids are going to be giving them a bad time now. As long as that fire elects not to spread. There we go. So... I'm not going to accept your surrender, That even though that's not a terrible surrender offer. I'm just going to let them die. And I get about the same thing anyway, so... I can't really repair my ship here. I guess I can repair my what little crew damage my crew took. Distress Beacon, please, please give me some additional firepower. That'd be great. There we go, send a rock crew member in. Contact the survivors, automated reloader. Which I do not believe affects the uh, artillery beam. Because the artillery beam is not a weapon. It's an artillery beam. So that's going to be getting sold here in a minute. Let's see what the store has. Okay, so I just want one additional weapon. Oh, fuck. Well, anti-ship drone is good. Crew transporter is good. Uh, I'm just trying to think of ways to take on ships if I have to. The anti-ship the anti-ship thing works really, really nicely, actually. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the automated reloader, and uh, the repair arm is gonna stay. The metabot dispersal. Yeah, this is a tough call, because true cr crew transporter would normally be what I'd really like to do, and I really, really desperately need to get my shields up. But for the sake of uh, this probably being a bad idea. Let's go ahead and... Uh, well, great. If I buy drone control, I can't necessarily get the uh, anti-ship drone. So we're going to skip both of these right now. We're going to do some uh, ship reinvestment. So let's go ahead and... I don't really need that. I need the 30 scrap. Maybe a little bit more. It's a luxury item. Let's put it that way. So let's see here. We need shields. All right, we need we need the we need the power of turtling right now. So that means getting your doors upgraded too. There we go. Now we can survive a little bit more. And once I realized that this was a turtle ship more than anything else, is I do want to get my artillery beam leveled up. That's gonna help. That's helped me out a bit in surviving with this ship. 
If I could have bought the uh, anti-ship drone, maybe I would have, but it does. it's not going to do me a lot of good in missions like this where that pike beam's going to hurt me if it times nice, if it plays nicely with uh, the asteroids. Because they're not really meteors if they're not in the atmosphere, so they're just asteroids because it's an asteroid belt, field, something or other. And I'm timing perfectly with theirs, so... This ship's gonna die. Once again, I wanna have low, low score. And part of the part of my thinking on that is just I want to get a I really need that fuel. Alright. Part of my thinking on that is I really want to get my ship viable for the final fight as best as possible without getting too much scrap. So that means doing it early and then sitting on this. Now there is, this is kind of similar to the hoarding challenge where you want to have as much excess scrap here. But really the goal here, my goal is just to have a very, very low score. I have no need of your services. Distress beacon. We're going to be probably stopped playing in the distress beacon fields before too long. Uh, give him fuel. And we got an updated map. Well that, that does us pretty much no good. Let's just shoot for the exit here. I have a feeling this is going to end very poorly. Um, I do like drones, but I probably need the scrap more. So let's do that. Plus, I get to get a repair, so. Hmm. Interesting. Let's up our artillery beam. Because the faster, the faster that shoots, the less we're just sitting here waiting for it to shoot. And someone's hacked my engines already. That's cute. That's a slug ship. This thing is not gonna. This thing's not gonna hurt me. We can just sit here kindly. And like I said before, the automated reloader, as far as I know, does not increase or decrease the cooldown for my weapon system here. So, just means that we want to get our shields up and our artillery beam up as fast as possible. Once I get level three artillery and like level three shields. There's probably not too much I need to do here other than just... Because the burst laser one's nice. It's going to be very valuable for the flagship. I just have to make it there. And I would love to get a transporter somewhere along the way. So I have some scrap goals. Not a ton more, actually. Level 3 shields will get you through most of the game. This is going to be mainly me turtling. I don't know why I'm not shooting right now, though. Because I'm stupid. <laughs> Yay, there we go. So oxygen's on fire. They're going to suffocate if I just let them. Because this ship cannot hurt me. Unless they're to time their weapons just right. So let's shoot your shields. That'll do. They're going to die before long. There's some fights you can't avoid. And maybe I could play this challenge a little bit closer to the vest and not have so much going on but boom that is satisfying six fuel and 42 scrap that is a lot and keep in mind that 42 gets blunted to 35 so we're just gonna hop to the exit no no reason to stick around and get more points from jumping so next sector um yeah i'm gonna accept that bribe so let's go to the next sector now pirate controlled sector again yay I probably need some more reactor power. If I'm going to get the level 3 shields, I really... If I was playing normally, I'd want to do it by now. But that's definitely going to be where my next 100 scrap goes. And I'm almost there. Unless this store has something good. Unfortunately, it does take me away from the exit. So that's like 5 more points I'm adding to my score right now. Oh, it, that, that was a waste of time. Alright. I'm not buying anything other than, I guess, some fuel... Because as much as a low score runs nice, I don't want to just run out of fuel, so. We're about done with the early game farming stage here, and I'm not going to surrender to you. I do not want to lose my crew. And this is where things start to get a little touchy. Wow, you actually bored into my weapons room. You're stupid. We're into my shield room with, with the mantis there. You are so dumb. Alright. Wow. Okay, that was unlucky. But you're going to die. Alright. So you go ahead and repair and met up. For some reason my auto fire wasn't working, but I did take down their pipe beam, so that's that's nice. And this is where, like I said, it's going to be a turtle ship. If you did see my uh, run more recently with this ship, it wasn't that recent actually, but if you did happen to catch it a long time ago, there you go. They're trying to FTL escape. Well, that's that's not very nice of you. 
Let's see if I can cut out their piloting. Well, it's already delayed, so... Yeah, that'll do. Get the air back in here. But yeah, they're, uh, they're having a very bad time right now. Okay, so destroy us and they'll die anyway. I'm gonna accept their crew because even though that's a ship victory, you don't get extra scrap. And actually, Zoltan is a great addition to my crew. And once again, if I were playing normally, I would just have my Rock and Mantis become my boarding people. But for now, the Zoltan, which actually I do not remember. I don't think I've seen any crew events that relate to Zoltan. So that doesn't do too well. I think I'm past the achievement range anyway because it's not for the entire game. It's just for part of it. Automated scout, prepare for a fight. Well, shit. We'll see if we can get some luck here. I had my finger on the C button to club, but that's just not going to happen. As long as I don't get pike beamed at the wrong time, which is exactly what happened. We're going to be having our roving mantis repair crap today. Because that's a thing. Ion bomb on the shield. That was that was terrible. We are officially in trouble. And we're gonna need we're gonna need some oh boy, okay. Um shields on fire. Doors dying. Artillery beam down. Yeah, this is this is not a good day. I gotta deactivate their weapons here and I didn't do it, so my ship is getting going ouchy. My shields are currently offline. Okay, I got one shield back up. Artillery beam did its magic, so now I can just focus on repairing. Because now my life is not in danger. There we go. So that was an interesting fight. Not normally how that one goes. That's for sure. So, but yeah, when your systems are on fire, you know it's FTL. So that's here. Magmar the pilot's just doing his own thing. Let's go ahead and get our uh, shields back up. I said let's get our shields back up. Because at least this isn't one of the glitched events where stuff just keeps flying at me. I'm going to ignore the distress beacon. Actually, you know what? I'm not. We're still in Sector 4. Once we get to Sector 5 and onward, I'm going to start ignoring and just gunning straight for the exit. So, dislodge. If I had a beam weapon, that's fine. So they give me some fuel and some thanks. Around Sector 4 is when their crew rewards start getting really good, and I really should have repaired my doors, so let's do that real quick. Door repair! Won't take long, but is a very, very important system. While we're at it, let's go ahead and upgrade that. Because we are, like I said, I want level 3 artillery beam, so that's... Or actually, oh my god, that's right, there's four levels of artillery beam! How do I forget that? Well, level 4 artillery beam is going to be the goal. That's going to be my primary mode of damage here. So I'm going to need to get some power bars, and I'm going to need to do that. And then we can kind of shut it down. The engines are going to be important for defense, but not... I mean, okay, they're important because you only can do so much without cloaking, and dodging becomes far more valuable. But I'm going to be mainly shield tanking a lot of stuff and trying to avoid things like rock sectors that have a lot of rocks and missiles, but you can't always avoid that. So there we go. Lack of encounters. Do we get a second lack of encounters? Oh, all these slavers all the time. Well, at least that means that it's I'm not going to be taking uh, damage here. So we're going to go ahead and just cut the artillery beam right now. I need this burst laser to fire. It's going to need to fire twice before I get the arty going. Fortunately, level 3 shields, I got those at just the right time, and that's a heavy it's a heavy ion, so it does 2 ion damage, but it's not firing very quickly, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and cut oxygen. This is where I need to get some more reactor power. So piloting is a go. I don't know if the ship can actually hurt me, but they only have level 1 shields, which is really surprising. Okay, now they definitely can't hurt me, so we do not... I guess we don't really need the burst laser anymore, but we're going to cut engines. Because I'd rather my guys not fail to breathe. There we go. So they're trying to get away. FTL's delayed. You all are dead. So I do need some more reactor power. Said so I'm going for a low score, and you get your really high scores here. Destroy us and they die anyway. We get another crew, another NG. That's not terrible. Once again, I would just have my boarding party ready to go. At this point, if this were a normal run, but that's part of the joy of challenge runs, is that you don't get to play like you normally would. 
That's what keeps the game a little fresh. Sometimes you sort of dread going in what's going to happen with it, but... Next sector, uh... You know what, let's... Let's have them surrender their goods and they're trying to run away. Which means if they activate... Whoever's coming to chase me, it doesn't really matter. They do only have one shield. This is going to be some of the... Oh my god, you actually sent a boarding drone. You are so dumb. Well, I guess that means we're going to be going for their drone control first. Okay, so that didn't deactivate it. So I guess we'll put you guys in here for now. So my rock very astutely runs through the room without air, so... So I'll take that guy down. I don't even really need to worry about him at this point. So let's see here. Intruders detected. My air's not doing so hot. So I'll just cut off engines here. Oh, I should have stopped him from jumping. Go, artillery beam. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. I think I screwed this up. Yep, I definitely screwed that up. Oh, well. You know what? That's almost better, because that means that is a fight I did not win. So... I'll actually take that result. Especially since what? The Federation is a... Uh, not the Federation. Oh, let me not kill my guy here. Although it'd be nice if he got negative points for certain events and then I could keep going with that. You get no points or no score for getting extra crew. So unlike high score runs, sometimes it really bothers me to have a bunch of crew coming on because that's I only need like four or five crew a lot of times in a game. But right now the lack of scraps really helping me for my goal here. So I have said I want to avoid rock sectors. Too bad. So what makes rock sectors a little more difficult is that there's going to be plenty of missiles coming my way. And there is a store up here. I don't really have anything to sell though. So, And I'm decent on the fuel. So we're going to skip that store. It doesn't do us a lot of good. 13 scraps not going to get us anything that we don't already have or need. So here we go. This one doesn't have missiles. So we're just going to... I guess we're just gonna do this. And they do have level 2 shield, so my burst laser is not gonna be very effective for much longer, but if I can at least get one hit in, deactivating that, I assume it was a fire bomb, but deactivating that bomb is totally worth it. Like I said before, I wanna get some reactor power, then I'm gonna make my artillery be my heavy lifter here. Okay, so we're just gonna stop screwing with their weapons, because I can tank that damage. And when I'm down to about 50% oxygen, I'll go back up. So they are terrible at dodging. Good to know. So they cannot hurt me right now. There's the artillery beam doing what it... I really kind of wanted it to hit the weapon room, but there we go. So O2 down. Evade up. A little bit of micromanagement. Never hurt anybody, folks. But if I can make the artillery beam more of a thing here, as the rock plating's not really coming into play so much here but it doesn't really matter because once they once this thing goes it goes I don't know if that made any sense at all but we are just gonna go ahead and see how this runs oh that was a firebomb in my cockpit which sounds like a really terrible place to have a fire okay so at least you're dead so is the fire going to go out? Am I going to lose my pilot here? I got 40 scrap and 3 fuel. So let's just go ahead and do this. Get our NG in there too. Let's go ahead and up our reactor. Probably only need to have it one right now. Alright, so there we go. Not so bad. So the level 3 shields are kind of all you really need. But what you really need versus what you really get is kind of different here. So uh, it's a little dicey to take this distress beacon, but it's possible to get weapons and items without triggering things. So go down on the surface to investigate. Uh, okay. Sworn you find a lone survivor. Um, take him to your family, and there we go. Yay! So it wasn't a crazy person. All right. So 71 scrap. Not awesome. Not terrible. Like I said, I'm just. Trying to get things moving along here. Because it is a little bit of score, and this is an interesting background for that. And we have a big, nasty, scary laser. So we're going to try and target that first. Level 3 artillery beam is going to be super key here. 
is that is a one-shot heavy laser. But I don't really have anything else to shift my power to. But good, now they can't dodge. So this, as long as this missile doesn't wreck me too badly, which is probably exactly what's going to happen here, so please miss. Good, 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 good. That 24% evade. Just getting my rock guide experience just in the nick of time. So that weapon's gone. I probably should have put more pressure on the weapon system because I'm sure they're repairing it right now, but artillery beam, go! Yay! It's like the longest pike beam ever. But I guess when your ship's shaped like a penis... Yes, I went there! It took me 30 minutes into the video, but I remembered that dick joke. Should have named this Johnson or something. There we go. But... You know, we're about the 30 minute point. I am probably just going to jump through this sector just for the sake of jumping through it and call that a video for now. I know you all try. I know I do appreciate you all watching. And I know that some people are really anal about, I want my YouTube videos to be 30 minutes or 20 minutes or something minutes. But I try and keep it more just organic with in terms of how the game's going. So right now, we've had some really fast jumps through the opening sectors. It's been surprisingly successful. I guess the artillery beam is a good scrap independent weapon after all. So we get to another store. Let's see, does this store have anything that's going to help us? Because we don't have anything we really want to sell. But the important thing is that it's not going to be a scrap net gain here. Ugh, crude teleporter. What sector are we in? Sector 5. I think I'll have another... I'm going to take a gamble here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have another opportunity to buy a crude teleporter. And the crude teleporter is going to be stupidly important against the final boss. So I'm going to take a risk and not get it right now, even though I have the scrap for it, and I have the crew to support it. I am instead going to go for upgrading my artillery beam one and upgrading my system power more. That gives me more firepower, allowing me to survive more fights. Let's see if I'm going to regret that decision, because now we are going to start rushing through the end here. So we're going to see if we can get to this sector. We have another battle, and this is a ship that is not going to be able to hurt me. So that is a... That's always a nice start here, and you can see level 4 artillery beam is going to be firing every 20 seconds. Considering the burst laser fires a little, considering how quickly the burst laser fires, which is like 11 or 12 seconds, that is really powerful. Right now we're at 30 second inter intervals for the artillery beam. I don't know why I suddenly have some afternoon congestion here, but I do. So artillery beam, good job. So just going for a low score. I'm really surprised at the lack of items that I've gotten here. But that's how it goes. So my next my next scrap is going to go to the artillery beam, and I think the rest will just go to engines. Uh, you know what? I'm actually not going to accept that. 25 scrap is okay from a score standpoint. But I'm going to get... You get more points for winning. I think you get like 20 points per victory in a battle here. So I could just stop fighting once my ship gets to where kind of where I want it to be. But the goal here too, and I ran into this before with my hoarding challenge run, is that I had about 15 or 12 or 1300 scraps saved up. I know that's a really wide range, but I mean with all that scrap saved up, I was going to die to the flagship due to some bad RNG and just relying on certain strategies. So it's kind of like I want to get as low of a score as possible. I'd love to get under a thousand. Let's let's. I'm not going to be playing with drones, so let's sell those. I want to get under a thousand, but if it means I don't win the flagship, that means I don't win the challenge. So we're going to go ahead and jump to the next sector, and we're actually going to avoid the Zoltan homeworlds because I hate them, and we're going to go to the rebel-controlled sector instead. Hooray! So let's go ahead and call this a video. I'm going to be picking up right back where I left off next time. So this is Way to Fail with the low score challenge run. And I honestly have no idea how I'm doing. Maybe if there is a mod or something that gave me a score counter up here in game, I could have a better idea. But it's going to be a surprise for all of us. Right now, this feels like a kind of standard run with a lot of scrap. And I'm not doing a great job of avoiding fights other than not farming scrap in places. But you're going to see our strategy for the next few sectors, 6, 7, and 8 is just to haul ass through the sector. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all next time.